Yeah, there's been a lot of work uh, done to this, and this is definitely South Jersey State. It's pretty cool. It takes into account the best ways that we've always used to work around this, and some new ideas as well. So, for instance, if you look at this little guy over here, there's now a new view. It's called playlists. Why is that cool? Well, because I'm looking at all of my playlists underneath my source audio track. Right. So traditionally, we used to stack up the playlists literally behind that top level of playback on the track. Well, now it's in. Behind that one, we just spilled them out underneath there, so you can see them all simultaneously. Uh, so you can see that you can see that that's indented, and also you can also see on the show hide window that there's only one waveform sort of front indicator here. It's to show you that all of these playlists share the same voice. So you can only listen to one of them once. Right. And we needed to have some way to sort of uh, quickly go go down, back and forth to, to sort of listen to these and. and decide what we like and what we're going to edit. So, there's been some new functionality added. So, anywhere the cursor focus is on the edit screen, you can say Shift S, that'll solve the track. Shift R will record on the track. Shift M will mute the track. And if you're an HD user, Shift I will set that track into input. So, I can move the cursor back anywhere I want, right? And then Shift S, now I'm listening to that playlist. <laughs> Again, notice that it's soloing it in the context of the session overall. It's just saying, put this playlist in the temporary order for each voice. Or, last but certainly not least. So that's great. You figured out what you want to listen to. So the question becomes, how do you get that information in the main playlist so you all get it sort of So, here you go. Right? Sure. So next to that solo button, you see that little up arrow? Essentially means promote. So whether it's an entire region, or if you go and just simply make a selection on any playlist. So let's take this. Let's say yeah. take that guy there. Before you do the magic trick, so normally before when you're editing between playlists, you have to copy, right? Switch to the other playlist and paste it, <coughs> and preserve the time domain position. So now we basically combine that into a single nice. action. I say promote. We're saying copy this and paste it to the main playlist. And notice we didn't even have to actually make a, an actual edit in the other region, in the other playlist, right? We didn't have to define a new region or anything. We just simply make a selection and promote it to the top, either by clicking the arrow or using the keyboard shortcut. So it's right silver, whatever was there before. Uh, was it control option V? Yeah, it's control option V. So you'll notice that, well, first of all, here's our content. <laughs> So you've got a number of benefits here. For one, it takes into account all the coolest sort of ways that we've used to work around this problem. So it's really fast. You'll notice that it still leaves you with the original colors that those playlists had. So you can actually see them. Um, you can use them. Also, and it's kind of uh, we're showing them right now. You have the ability now to rate regions. So if you've got a bunch of them laid up together, if you've got a bunch of guitar passes or a bunch of ADR passes or something, you can just right click on that and give it a rating. So one through five, um, we don't actually care if one is good or one is bad. You number one. That. Yeah. You're number five. If you decide that five is the worst, that's fine. It's okay. Yeah. We're not going to actually impose that on you. But uh, three is probably right in the middle. So, that's, yeah. so uh, you can also choose now. You'll keep stuff. Sorry, it took a while. Sorry. Sorry. So we now also have the ability, once you've got those things together, to filter for playlists that have these ratings of right. regions. And where this comes in really handy is the thing we, we neglected to mention as we went through here is uh, with the new preference for loop recording, we can actually say, as you loop record, make each pass become assigned to a new playlist. So it's automatically creating playlists as you loop record, and you can actually on the fly rate these regions as they're getting tracked. So then if you know one's a clunker, just tag it as a clunker, and you go back and filter out so you don't have to look at, say, 12 <laughs> playlists, you can just look at your top three or four. And then, you, then you're just copying between obviously the best stuff because that's when you know. Yeah, it's really fast. It's a, it's a lot. To, it's a lot more fun to do, and definitely seeing those sort of uh, playlists spit out while you're in the middle of the loop forecast is cool.